हेलो अरुण वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल तो गाइज आज के स्टूडियो में हमारे साथ है अक्षता तो अक्षता इज वर्किंग एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टर तो इस वीडियो में हम लोग जानेंगे अक्षता से यार सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग का फ्यूचर क्या है और अगर इसमें आप लोग अगर जॉब करना चाहते हैं तो आप कैसे जा सकते हो सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग में या फिर हो मैनुअल टेस्टिंग में तो इसका फ्यूचर स्कोप क्या है और क्या क्या चीजें आपको करनी चाहिए क्या क्या चीजें नहीं करनी चाहिए इसके बारे में हम लोगों ने इस पॉडकास्ट में डिस्कस किया है तो सबसे पहले अक्षता वेलकम टू माई चैनल थैंक यू थैंक यू सतीश ओके सो कैन यू गिव लाइक ब्रीफ आइडिया अबाउट योर इंट्रोडक्शन हाउ बीन योर वर्क इन द इंडस्ट्री ओके या so i am akshita so i completed my graduation in 2016 and after that i uh, was i was having nothing idea whenever i joined as a software tester mm-hmm. i just joined it and then after i started learning what is this what, what about software testing mm-hmm. and now it's been around 6 years in this industry and i'm literally enjoying i'm into my, i started my journey as a manual tester but later on i got hands on on automation testing i did even wcag testing there are a lot of test types of testing that i have performed mm-hmm. and i'm into uh, cloud testing as well and cloud automation so mm-hmm. there are i uh, you know i have put multiple um, hands on each of them okay. uh, so that's how uh, i started and um, this is how it's going and also i'm doing little content creation and i have an uh, uh, instagram channel uh, instagram uh, through which i'll uh, you know provide yeah. the knowledge about software testing field and mm-hmm. uh, it is called as software uh, testing hacks i also have a youtube channel uh, with the name software testing hacks and uh, right now i'm uh, you know i've started my java series there okay. so uh, yeah so that's how uh, it's, it's going, going uh, yeah. yeah okay okay so guys I, i will give all the links in the description box about her, her instagram page and her uh, youtube channel she she been teaching like java on her channel so you can go if you want to learn the java you can go and check it out her channel okay so so uh, basically akshita uh, can you tell me the the first question arises in the mind of students when they are going into the it field so exactly what is software testing and what the software tester do in company can you can you elaborate okay. that okay yeah so software testing basically whenever it comes to software industry mm-hmm. who thinks that only software uh, development is the main thing mm-hmm. but along with that software testing is also something which is main what mm-hmm. happens is developers just build the software but as a tester we will have to think in the end user perspective that is what makes the difference while building it they'll just see the acceptance criteria and build according to that mm-hmm. but as a tester we will think uh, we will have to be in the mindset of a end user like how user friendly it is mm-hmm. all these things comes under testing mm-hmm. so it is a vast field actually um yeah. so yeah okay. basically it is making sure the application is working fine and how the quality is we will make sure Uh, you know other perspective from end user okay, okay so that is what is software testing so so nowadays uh, there are many things in the market like automation testing and manual testing so can you elaborate on that ki what is the difference like what is manual testing and what is automation testing yeah manual testing uh, first we will start with manual testing only any application so hmm. first we have to have that application stable then only we can perform the automation testing automation testing is nothing but whenever we have a repeated task to do in manual testing okay. that we will automate okay. so uh, it's kind of regression testing mm-hmm. all this testing um, will be uh, you know automated okay. so this is the difference major difference is manual testing is where we will put uh, we will write the test case and we will execute it mm-hmm. but when it comes to automation testing we will uh, automate the manual test case and then we will execute each release mm-hmm. so that is what the difference it will reduce the manual effort to reduce mm-hmm. the manual effort we will use automation testing okay 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 so so let's jump on to the next question because most of the students have this doubt so when they are entering into the it market they think of like software testing is a declining market and we have to go for software development we will get the more chances so what's your opinion on that like what what they should think in the right way uh so nothing wrong but uh, but as a software tester what i say is 
it's not a declining field basically even in software testing industry also there is lot of upgradations that is happening previously we just had manual testing after that automation testing came into the market so now uh says automation uh, in automation selenium is in bank mm -hmm. right now also mm -hmm. and a uh, new technologies are coming even we will automate apis and a lot of even we will also write code it yes. is not like only developers know the code but as a testers we also uh, will put our effort in coding mm -hmm. so it is not like it is uh, not as they think mm -hmm. it is really good and we will definitely enjoy Yeah. Uh, our work okay. it is a really good industry i would say mm -hmm. but in, in, initially people think like uh, yaar uh, let's go into development we get the more opportunity we get the more exposure to other technology so yaar, as as you can see like uh, software testing is they think people think software testing is like selenium ya fir manual testing that's it so other than that what are the fields you can like uh, ex explore or you can tell to the audience yeah so first is after being a quality analyst we mm -hmm. can upgrade ourselves as a automation tester okay. so in automation testing there are various automation is not only with java we mm -hmm. can even uh, nowadays uh, java with sorry uh, selenium with python is also in high demand mm -hmm. and javascript is there in the market mm -hmm. uh, so mocha and mobile automations we are doing it through uh, javascript mm -hmm. so there are lot of technologies also we are using it is uh, you know it is not like uh, they won't have to think that software testing is you know it is yeah, nothing yeah. like it is just a basic kind of only development has the future mm -hmm. no even software testers has the future and uh, yeah that 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 is how uh, what, what i feel uh, it is even not... even even somebody ask huh. me even i say them jab tak developer se tab tak testers ki zarurat hai it's not like only the development field is going to boom and software testing is like a declining market mm. so uh, we'll move on to the next question so can you tell me the what is, what does the software testing future look like to you as a six year experience girl mm. Hmm. so software testing future see right now uh, no code low code automation testing is coming into the market it has already been there like catalon studio and all people are using mm -hmm. but it is like codeless automation mm -hmm. even a uh, normal graduate or normal even from the different background also mm -hmm. can automate mm -hmm. so it is that easy mm -hmm. it, it, you know it is upgrading in such way mm -hmm. that even a uh, people who are from the non it background also can come and automate mm -hmm. so it is that easy and uh, I, i think software testing is having a good future mm -hmm. uh, in the coming days mm -hmm. not only manual and automation there are some other new technologies are getting in you know invented and mm -hmm. some other new new things are coming up on daily mm -hmm. that's how like different uh, technologies are coming it is not like never ending process as you said as a, as how many developers are there hmm. an equivalent amount of testing will also be required okay 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 so uh, can, can somebody like uh, who are joined as a software tester can he or she makes a switch to the development later on in her career like have you tried ever in your career yeah 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 i by myself have tried a lot because i learned um, full stack development for that sake mm -hmm. uh then i then i felt uh, you know software testing itself is an interesting thing uh, when i when i started learning development mm -hmm. i learned it uh, but only for my sake mm -hmm. then i did not try switching on basis of development though mm -hmm. uh yeah there are lot of multiple uh, options are there once you are into the industry right you can switch Mm -hmm. you can switch into development also um, so that uh, to and fro can be done okay uh, only on basis of how they learn each day you know each day is a learning mm -hmm. so we should not stop learning so if we start learning and if we upgrade ourselves then definitely there is a chance you can internally um, uh, you know within the company itself you, you we can internally move oh, also yeah. yeah yeah initially initially just uh, students uh, join the company they think like if you are joined as a software tester then our permanent life will be will be working on the software mm. they don't understand like okay. uh, in the uh, corporate ka life because 
वहां पर यू कैन यू कैन डेली लर्न न्यू स्किल एंड यू कैन स्विच ऑन दैट स्किल और यू कैन आस्क योर मैनेजर टू मेक योर सेल्फ अवेलेबल इन अदर अदर प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट एवर टेक्नोलॉजीज यू आर लर्निंग राइट सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैन यू इफ इफ समबडी इज इंटरेस्टेड टू लर्न सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग और वांट टू मेक देयर करियर ऑन गेट देयर फर्स्ट जॉब इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग सो व्हाट थिंग्स दे शुड लर्न सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज मैनुअल टेस्टिंग शुड बी वेरी स्ट्रांग until you learn manual testing uh, software testing you will not get to get a good understanding of what is software testing first basic is important basic is manual testing mm. manual testing should be strong and along with that a basic of automation testing is required mm-hmm. and then a uh, little api testing knowledge and little uh, database knowledge so mm. if these things are there then it is easy to get into the software industry it is not much difficult okay. to get in so uh, what what is the preferable uh, language to learn python or java uh, to start with uh, java is good okay. so if we if we have a good uh, command over the java we can learn other languages easily so yeah yeah exactly so java and then python okay hmm. okay so is it uh, for software testing is it required to learn a, a programming language or not yes yes it is required uh, you know only because what happened is uh, some days back it was not mandatory to learn automation testing but mm-hmm. now even for freshers they are asking to have a little coding knowledge so that mm-hmm. the resource can be utilized in uh, you know as in how the availability is suppose only if i'm doing manual testing then i have to stick on my whole life to manual testing mm-hmm. so but to have that flexibility people are also looking for someone who is having uh, you know multiple uh, skill set mm-hmm. so that is the reason it is good to have uh, uh, even, coding skills even even if you go for now around around some companies they are directly looking for the full stack developer who can write a code who can develop a code and who can test also right <laughs> okay so yeah the next question is same as you told how much coding do we need to get into software testing because most of the so, non students exactly are very much like they are uh, they are they are into fear like how to learn coding because coding is something they have never done in their life and they see the like laptop screen and they will be like they don't understand anything <laughs> so yeah so yeah. how much how much coding is uh, required to get into the field see uh, to get into the field at least the basics is uh, very much required mm-hmm. basic if we say java what are the main oops concept and all that how it works and what are the loops mm-hmm. all these basics are required mm-hmm. once they get in they get to know the logic mm-hmm. logical implementation they can learn later mm-hmm. i mean while implementing it they will slowly get an understanding of uh, how, how it works mm-hmm. but uh, while getting in at least they should be clear about the topics and uh, small example program they should be able to write mm-hmm. so that much basics is enough and once they get in they can definitely learn it properly purely mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. the implementation okay 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 if if somebody is from non it and he he or she wants to switch into like it industry so what will be like process or how how must he like he, how, how, what is the path you can tell to students yeah um so for that actually what i suggest is uh, they can take up any course or any youtube channel they can they can refer mm-hmm. and they can get into the concepts clearly mm-hmm. first the concept if they are clear about the topics then nobody can reject them e- even though they are from non it background mm-hmm. so they have that potential to crack an interview then definitely until mm-hmm. that they have to be patient and they have to learn it learning mm-hmm. is something which is like never ending process in this it industry mm-hmm. even as a developer or even as a tester also mm-hmm. so that's why m- maybe they can pick up any course otherwise mm-hmm. who provides them uh, you know even placements or something like that mm-hmm. once after they do that maybe then uh, it it would become easy for them mm-hmm. uh, to get into the it industry either by learning by themselves through this youtube or else joining through any courses and then learning exactly even even i keep on uh, saying to the students if you are non it or if you are from the it or any anything like if you are skilled enough to get into the company no one is stopping you right exactly so exactly 
so the next question is about the salary in the market for testers and developer so what do you think like uh, does uh, testers software testers earn lesser than developer yeah this is one of the you know most people discuss on this uh, topic actually uh -huh. so what happens is for developers and testers only if you're manual tester then there are chances that you may pay it less mm -hmm. but once you start upgrading yourself then there is no uh, boundary actually even as a developer even we can earn equivalent to developers even there are people who i have seen uh, even they have reached to 30 35 lakhs mm -hmm. uh, as a tester mm -hmm. they are earning that much mm -hmm. so there is no boundaries in software uh, testing to get salaries as well so even equivalent to developers we can earn okay okay because this this was the most most of the student gets confused in that they think of the future mm. like if i get into the software testing and development has the highest packages and software we, uh, they don't understand like software testers will get that much or salary hike or not <laughs> yeah only if they stay in manual testing for you know long mm. time then they face this um, face this kind of challenges but if you start upgrading then definitely there is no such boundaries okay it is uh, each day is learning but uh, you know i by i st when i started learning new things mm -hmm. then i never stop i mm -hmm. each day is like upgrading ourselves so exactly. i would definitely say any one just to keep themselves updated yeah. and uh, keep learning <laughs> okay so so guys we have covered almost uh, the questions about the software testing or the future of software testing opportunities in software testing and how the non it can students switch so akshita thank you for giving your time on our channel okay yeah, yeah thank you thank you so much uh, satish for inviting me okay so guys uh, also i will give all the links about her her instagram page and her youtube channel in description so go check her check her youtube channel she is she's been posting now a jara she's posting a java series on her channel so if for someone interested to learn java so go check her channel and check her videos and subscribe to her channel okay so, so akshita thank you once again thank you thank you satish okay guys if you have watched the video till now so please don't forget to like the video and share among the students who are into like getting into the IT industry or they want to get into the software testing. And also please subscribe to my channel.